Have you guys heard about this new piece of documented evidence that tells how the Great Pyramid stones were cut and transported? There is no date on this newly uncovered piece of papyrus, so they are just going with the fake timeline of 4,500 years old. The new discovery was published in the UK on Channel 4, and they claim that after deciphering the papyrus that was written by a squad leader by the name of Mira, the stone blocks were ferried across the Nile in a series of purpose-built canals that delivered them as close to the construction site as possible. They were then rolled over on special tracks. The same type of boats might have also been used to transport the granite from Aswan. They claim they have three months in the life of this man detailed on this papyrus, and they have attempted to reconstruct the type of boat that may have been used in the transportation of these huge stones. After careful planning and cutting of wood, they bound the boat together using an incredible three miles of rope. They swelled the wood in the water to make it watertight, and then they loaded a limestone block onto the boat. The result? The boat almost capsized after a very short journey, and the block almost fell into the water. We should stress the fact that this effort was the result of around 30 highly skilled workers over a period of six months. And the fact the stone that they loaded was about a quarter the size of some of the bigger stones at the Great Pyramid, and they still could not replicate it. There is obviously something not right. Are they really trying to force this idea from a preconceived idea? It's not impossible to comprehend the massive stones at Giza were transported 500 miles up the Nile by boat. The thing that is almost impossible to understand is the scale. There would have to have been thousands of boats. They have found about five small boats. Where are the rest and would they really have held such massive loads? How did they load the boats? In modern times, they use heavy machine powered cranes. How many people were involved? There would have to have been over 100,000 workers to cut, transport, and fit into place one gigantic stone block every six minutes for 25 years. The stones of these pyramids are so neatly fitted that you cannot even fit a razor into the gaps. And what is the Great Pyramid? It's not a tomb. It can't be. It is far too elaborate and industrious to simply be a tomb for a king and queen. Isn't that just crazy? The piece of papyrus that has been discovered is sure to throw up more questions than answers. It just does not fit with the actual evidence. Could this be a desperate attempt by Egyptologists to hide the truth? Or perhaps it is just a neat idea to create a lot of publicity for financial gain. Who knows? We hate to discredit these findings, but this piece of papyrus doesn't actually say the stones are for the Great Pyramid. It could very well be an accurate account of transporting quarried rock for something, but we highly doubt it was for the Great Pyramid. Described as the greatest discovery in Egypt this century, it is hard to disagree, but what we have here is a piece of dynastic Egyptian history, not history from the Great Pyramid. What do you guys think of this? Are we completely missing something here? Are we wrong or are they wrong? What's going on? Comments below. Thank you for watching.